Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a quick look at a brand new 2023 MPG 2780 RE travel trailer. This is more of a couple's coach, not a bunk model. Has two slides in the back, rear entertainment setup. Take a few minutes, run you through the inside and outside. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, we are up inside the brand new 2023 MPG 2780 RE travel trailer here. We're gonna start here in the back and kind of work our way forward. As you've seen on the floor plan, this is kind of a couple's coach. You have over here on the left side or door side of the RV, you have a theater seat here. Now there is a little table that you can slide into the center arm that goes across, allowing you to sit there and eat for kind of dining area. There is cup holders and some storage in the middle there as well. Electric fireplace, which is basically a fancy electric space heater in the back there. Furion sound bar and a Sansui TV on a swing arm. You have deep tent safety glass windows with pull down nightshades. Over here on this side, you have a tri-fold sofa. This will flip out and make into a bed, so you could sleep two guests back here if you needed to. Now on the back side back here, you can kind of see here real quick, some storage on each side of the fireplace. The main subfloor of the RV is all vinyl. But then on the slide out floors, you have that woven material that they use in like pontoon boats. Heat ducts coming out the cabinetry instead of the floor. A little bit of storage down there. You could even maybe set you up a couple little bar stools here. Gets you some nice aftermarket bar stools or something to put there. Now, just kind of stepping back, looking down the roof line here, it does have a pretty nice arch to the roof area. So it does give you a little better water runoff on the outside. Also gives you a little more height inside as well. It is ducted AC running down the center here. There's also a vent uh, up here as well. And then it is prepped right here for the 4G LTE Wi-Fi. So there's an aftermarket gateway connect you can buy that goes there and subscribe to like say AT&T or Verizon or somebody and basically have wireless internet with you where you go. A little bit of a cubby area back here. There's also some USB charger ports in there. And you have kind of a little pantry area here. Decent amount of storage. That's probably, I'd say, about two and a half feet deep, roughly. Refrigerator wise, they are using the popular 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt Everchill refrigerator. And a lot of RVs over the last couple of years have gone to these 12 volt refrigerators. U shaped kitchen setup here. So you do have quite a bit of counter space for food prep. Now, another unique thing for the uh, Cruiser brand, they went to a new RV industry first air fryer oven. So a little bit of a different setup here compared to the traditional propane oven you're used to seeing in RVs. Now, while we're checking out down here, we have full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers as well. more storage over here three burner gas stove top with a flip down glass lid hood range light and fan and a traditional microwave as well decent amount of upper cabinet space also Sink wise, you have the high rise faucet with one large undermount sink there. Digital thermostat on the wall for the propane furnace and your main air conditioner. Electric box with the breakers and fuses down here. And then you have a control center here for your slides, 
your power awning, some light switches, gas electric water heater buttons, uh, water pump, and then your holding tank meters as well. Little coat hook holders there. Now going on this direction, we're into the bathroom area here. So kind of starting from the top down, I guess let's start up here. We do have the AC duct in here. There is a vent fan as well. ABS tub surround. Basically a step-in shower, has a heat duct there as well. And then you have a foot flush toilet. Some storage space. Swing door to get you in and out of this uh, area. Now for the bedroom side of things, you have a sliding door. Again, all vinyl floor in this area as well. Overhead cabinet space, little shelf space back there. Now this one was ordered with a second AC. They're currently using Furion ACs. So you can see the second AC here as well. And there is a digital thermostat back there by the headboard for that AC. They also did a little bit of shelf space underneath the here as well. Window on each side of the bed and both windows do open. You have a backer in the wall there to mount you a TV on the wall if you wanted to. Just be real careful. Walls are only so thick and you do not want to drill through it. So be a little cautious on your screw size when you're setting this thing up. On the roof there is the electric outlet and cable outlet for that as well. A little bit of room on each side of the bed to kind of maneuver around. And then you have kind of a little vanity mirror over there and some more storage space down below. But overall, pretty cool little area. And there is a little bit of storage space under the bed, but this bed, you get to it from each side as it has currently a slide across the bed here. They're currently using a king size bed in here. But pretty cool setup. Great little couples coach. We're gonna head outside. I wanna show you around the outside real quick. Show you what it's all about out there. We'll be right back on the outside. All right, we are back on the outside of the brand new 2023 Cruiser MPG 2780RE travel trailer here. Starting on the door side of the RV, we have a white fiberglass exterior, which is attached to the Asdale composite material instead of a wood luon backer. Foam block insulated sidewalls, aluminum stud construction on your sidewalls as well. You have deep tent safety glass windows. You have a lower metal black skirting. Power awning, LED light strip built in close to the body of the RV, adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff, and then you also have a manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure. On this one, you have a huge pass-through storage compartment here all the way across. You got a battery disconnect in here. It is also prepped for a tire link uh, aftermarket tire pressure monitoring system that you can buy. So definitely check into that, talk with your salesperson about that solar charge controller over here on the side power rear and front stabilizer jacks you can see the little power button right there as well just underneath the here you have hot and cold low point water drains you can see that little blue light back under there also you have again enclosed underbelly there is a cable outlet and electric outlet here as well you have the heavy duty more ride entrance step here rated for 500 pounds comes down touches the ground adjustable feet for the terrain area you also have a traditional screen door rv entry door the window in the entry door as well two outdoor speakers one just up there by that awning arm and then one on the other side of the awning arm as well down below here you can see aluminum wheels easy loop hubs 12 volt drum brakes. 
Right here, you'll see where they do talk about the uh, enclosed underbelly climate defense setup here, three year limited structural warranty, and also prepped for the Lippert Stow and Go Ladder. You'll see when we get to the back. That three year limited structural warranty, nice thing to harp on here just because not all brands have a three year limited structural warranty. Some are only one. So having three years may not sound like a big deal, but it actually is in the RV industry, unfortunately. On around to the back side here, we have a traditional flat back rear end, spare tire mounted to your four inch square tube bumper. A lot of people like to store their dump hose in the bumpers there. Um, it is again prepped in the top right corner for that Lippard Stow and Go ladder. You can buy that aftermarket, nice feature to have. You can also do a Furion rear observation camera on the back if you'd like. It is prepped for that. Again, another aftermarket item you can add on. Talk with your salesperson about that. That's a nice feature. A little uh, pet friendly leash latch holder here. Then you have your rear stabilizer jacks as well. Squeezing on around to the other side here. I'll also. Look at the top of that roof line there before we get too far ahead. It is, has a nice, real big arch. You've seen that arch when we were inside as well. Just kind of trying to shed away as much water and stuff as fast as possible there. Going on to the other side of the slide here, we have, again, dual axle. You have your city water inlets. You have the uh, freshwater tank fill, cold water spray port, furnace exhaust out right there, detachable power cord here. This one had two AC, so it's 50 amp service. And then you have your six gallon gas electric water heater right there. I'm just kind of looking down here at the bottom. Just in front of the axles there is your freshwater tank drain. Over here a little bit, you have your gray and black tank drain as well black tank flush right here to clean out the toilet system and your cable satellite inlets there as well. Just up there in between those two back windows, you have the stove exhaust vent there. Step back here so you can kind of see down the side a little bit better. Baggage doors are held up by magnetic holders. They do have a little bit fancier, nicer uh, lock system on them as well Here you have some important informational stickers this particular one tells me it was built 323 of 23 So it is a 2023 model and we also have our VIN number model number Axle sizes, but most importantly on this sticker gross vehicle weight. This one has a gross weight of 9,493 pounds you have your carrying capacity sticker here as well. You also have your tire size sticker here with cold tire pressure. Very important to keep up with tire pressure. But basically right here, it's telling us carrying capacity, 2,495 pounds. Tire size, ST22575R15 D range tires. Now on the front side here, you do have a lower metal skirting. Just back in, uh, back here, they have your battery disconnect set up here. Room for one or two batteries to go here as well. Two 20 pound propane tanks with the hard bottle cover. Power tongue jack, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, heavy duty safety chains, uh, seven way barbman wiring plug. And then you have a really nice heavy duty fiberglass front cap with two LED light strips built in. I know it's a little hard to see here in the daylight but it does actually look pretty cool at night. All right, guys, thanks for taking the time to watch this video on the new 2023 MPG 2780RE. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation, one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.